Riding these extreme waves of these solar flares. Aloha, my beautiful ones. My name is May. I'm a cyber witch and energy coach for empathic entrepreneurs. And I help you bring hone this beautiful gift that you have and use it on your day-to-day -day and for your business. And yeah, and just, you know, reconnect yourself with who you are. And here I am back. Probably you have been expecting energy readings, weekly energy readings that haven't been happening in the past couple of weeks. And I have to admit, it, you know, it's been very strong time. Not that, you know, not in a bad way, in a very good one, very transformative. These solar flares that are happening right now, wow, are really working on my energetic body. And I think I'm not the only one. That's why I wanted to share this with you. And I want to walk the talk, so I want to take you on this journey. I know that usually, you know, I, I made the promise to myself, you know, do weekly readings to support other empaths out there who need, you know, who, who would like to have that support. And I've, and I've been noticing with everything going on, it's been hard for me to keep up with that on a weekly basis. So I've been, you know, feeling into it, you know, talking to my spirit guides who are a support system that I have. And, you know, we've been looking into how to make this a little bit easier, um, but still, you know, show up for you, you know, bringing you an energy read an energy reading from my energies from from me combining with you with your energies as my listeners and so we have come up with a plan and we're trying to set it up at this moment that's why i haven't come out i hope that we can get started for the full moon instead of doing them weekly because of my very strong connection to the moon i'd like to do them on you know, always on new moons and full moons. So this is what we're going to do do moving forward starting next full moon. Um, and I'm going to start again with the interviews that I have. I still have, if you remember, this podcast used to have some interview, an interview format. And I still have these beautiful interviews from wonderful coaches out there that I'd like to share with you. So that is coming too. As to these energies that we're going through right now, they're very strong. They're helping us to come, you know, to become closer to our true selves. Um, you know, what, I, what I've learned from my own transformation in the past couple of weeks and transformation of friends around me, um, if you look at the people pleasers, it's time for people pleasers to stop pleasing everybody else. And I think I mentioned that in a couple of my last readings. And right now we're sort of moving, you know, it's coming to this, um, how, do, how could we call this, like the highlight, because it's, it's getting stronger. I feel like everybody learns more on how, where are my boundaries? How do I keep my own boundaries? It's very important to stay connected with yourself. So if possible, the best thing that you can do for yourself right now is really reconnect with yourself take deep breaths, you know, make practices of grounding yourself and make practices of coming back to your own energy. And that's one of the things that I'd like to share with you. I know it sounds very simple, but because it is so simple, it's one of the easiest ways that you can use right now in the times that we have. And that is the body scan. If you've never heard of it, the body scan is basically scanning your body from top to bottom or vice versa, whichever feels right for you. I always like to go from head to toe and I just go like, okay, how is my head you know, you just check in. Don't try to change anything. Don't try to judge anything. Just realize, how's my head? Okay, how is my neck? Like, is it feeling stiff? How is my jaws? How is my face? How is my breast? How is my... Um, how are my shoulders? How are my elbows? My hands, my fingers? And basically, you just need to ask that question. How is my stomach? How is my belly? How are my organs in there? How is my hip? How are my legs, my knees, my calves and my feet and toes? And you saw right now I went through pretty fast. Of course, depending on how you feel, you can take a little bit more time to really let it sink in. So how's my knee and really feel your knee and then, you know, move forward. 
but just by doing that checking in so do it as much as you have if you have a little bit more time you know take more time going through everything if you don't have a, a lot of time do it as i just did you know just check in with your body parts because just by expressing their word the name of your head your shoulders your your you're basically bringing your attention to this 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 you know and then and it pings through your body and what it does is it brings this attention to yourself and that is what is so important right now with the energy flares that we're receiving the solar flares we're having from from the sun and there's so much happening you know and with the stars and the moons and the planets aligning on on june 3rd so there's a lot of things happening right now and i feel the best help that we can get in that moment is to you know, bring our attention to ourselves. And the best way you can do that is with your body scan. If you want to take it one step further, once you've done all of that, come back to your heart and ask yourself, how are you feeling? You know, and you're going to see and you're going to learn the more you practice this, the less important it's going to be about your body and the more important it's going to be your own feelings. But that's one of the practices that I can really, I kid you not, it's as simple as it sounds. It's one of the most important things that you need to learn for yourself as an empath, how to bring yourself back. Because I know as empaths, we f we're all over the place. And, but we're not connected to ourselves. And by doing that, by bringing our attention to our body, we bring ourselves back to this. And this is actually like for, for clients of mine that come into my programs, this is the first thing that we start practicing because it's important to feel your own feelings and not be distracted by anybody else's. And especially in this time that we're going through right now, again, with the solar flares, with the you know planets aligning in different kinds of ways around the world, it's important for us to come back to, you know, to have that connection with ourselves. That's the best thing that you can do right now. Ride the waves, be conscious, make yourself aware of the signs, the symbols that are coming up around you that's that's another thing that i'm planning to do but i i'll tell you more when it gets closer but i'm planning to do um you know monthly full moon ritual where we talk about symbols where we use symbols for ourselves and you know to to use them on our daily basis to see the signs because it's so important we receive so many signs and symbols in our lives and the best thing we can do is you know reconnect to those and the more we practice it, the more you're going to get into that. And the more you are going to be able to understand, oh, okay, so this is what the universe is telling me, in spite of feeling everybody else's energies. So, yeah, so that's, that's my, you know, my, my two cents on this. And I hope this helps you go through the times that are coming. And I hope that you can be a little bit more patient with me. So starting next full moon, we're going to be doing the readings every full moon, every new moon. You're going to receive the energy readings as you know them so that you can use them for yourself on a daily basis. And yeah, move, move around, move forward and yeah, do that. So with that said, my wonderful soul, I hope you have a wonderful time, a wonderful, yeah, a wonderful week and if there's one thing that you have taken away for yourself from this today, I hope it is that the best thing you can do for yourself is return your awareness to yourself.